The convoy protest continues into another day with people wasting fuel on the side of the road to protest fuel costs. What's really funny is people have started to go through, figure out the cost of the vehicles, the trailers, the amount of money they're actually burning to idle on the side of the road, and it's really funny. Now, extra shout out to those doing it at the Quebec border as, as far as I'm aware, they don't even have the carbon tax, so it's complete nonsense. But remember, we all know. All along, this was never about the carbon tax. There's a reason it's the same people that don't want children taught consent in school, the same people that have the convoy protests, the same anti-mask people. It's always the same people. Now, we do have a small article in the pinned comments for anyone interested. The title of the article is, RCMP say carbon tax protesters cause five tractor crash in Crow's Nest Pass, if you would like to read that. Now, those still on the side of the road protesting, they're outraged. They're completely outraged. They're outraged you have to wear glasses to view a solar eclipse. They're outraged that the weather is causing it to flood where they are currently parked. Haven't heard any say that the government made it rain yet, but I, I feel it's coming. Outraged that the RCMP can block the road temporarily to prevent the convoy from blocking the road. That's very funny. Outraged that are being told that they'll be towed very soon. Outraged nobody coming. Outrage nobody cares. Let me share with you a rant posted in a group supporting this convoy. I am deeply saddened with Canadians right now. First, I want to give credit to the organizers of the nationwide protest for ending the carbon tax. I know firsthand how much work goes into organizing a national event and I salute each of you for all the hard work putting together the national protest against ending the carbon tax for all Canadians. Secondly, I want to thank each and every one of the 5,000 Canadians that showed up all across Canada at the various locations. I believe 5,000 is a gross overestimate from what I've seen, but they're saying 5,000. You are true freedom fighters and are Canadians that get it. For all those who have genuine health issues need to work, our seniors, please know this rant is not directed at you. Now, why am I disappointed? The Nationwide Protest and the Carbon Tax Group, the Facebook group, has almost 180,000 members. And only an estimated 5,000 members showed up nationwide? I am very frustrated and angry that so many are willing to come to Facebook, express their displeasure about the carbon tax in the comments, and yet, when it comes to physically doing anything, like standing up for your own ass. The prof is on the numbers, with how many of you are lazy and selfish. Shame on all of you that sat at home and thought you could let others stand on the front line for you. Shame on all you keyboard warriors who think you will beat the government while sitting behind your phone or computer. Unless you are an admin on a page and busy promoting the event. And there you go. Adds in a little, you know, well, I mean, you know, as long as you're promoting, right? Because, you know, the leadership. I guess they don't need to be on the ground and actually putting themselves in danger. So I have to ask the masses that don't have a valid excuse. Why did you join the group if all you're going to do is sit at home on your asses and complain online? Come on, answer honestly. Why? 175,000 Canadians are sitting on their lazy asses while less than 5,000 hold the line? I can answer that for him. A lot of them are just there to laugh at them. A lot of them are bots. How do you think those brave few who showed up feel right now? How do you think the organizers that built a great platform feel knowing 95% of you are not doing a damn thing to stand up and push the line back? What happened to Team Canada Unity folks? We are foobar if 95% of you can't get it through your think heads. They said think heads. That if we don't stand up, there will be no future Canada left for any of us. We might as well just accept all, let's all accept that we will own nothing and be slaves. 
Is that what you want? You say no, but your lack of action say yes. I don't care what your excuses for not showing up is. Get the F off your lazy asses and get to the closest protest near you. Stand beside your fellow Canadian brothers and sisters and push the line back. No excuses accepted. The carbon tax won't axe itself away unless we stand to together and be the axe as one nation. Hashtag axe the carbon tax. Now, they're worried about being towed. Um, some new people are still wanting to roll in a lot more of the uh, more extreme, you know, sovereign citizen YouTuber types are starting to show up and make more um, themselves more known. Um, a big defense they're wanting to do is to not leave their vehicles. Their argument is they can't tow us if we're in our vehicles. They'll remove you from the vehicles. Um, but uh, even then, a lot of these sites have like a single porta potty. They brought one. They brought a porta potty with them. So if you can't leave to use the porta potty because they'll tow your vehicle, do they all have their Canadian Freedom poop buckets ready? And if not, I implore someone to bedazzle some popcorn buckets. Maybe get those ones from the Dune movie, a little more fun for them if they're taking a shit. And uh, try selling them car to car. It's so funny. Um, every time I look, it's someone else that like I've seen before. Or it's just whining that the police, you know, can do things they can't. Anger that people aren't showing up. Anger that uh, people are leaving, because people are leaving. Um, I went through a bunch of different live streams. I tried to find what I could find. Again, these are Canadians, and for some reason, Canadian convoys love Facebook. Um, American convoys and other convoys seem to really like YouTube because, you know, people actually get to see it. People that don't know what's going on see it. Uh, Canadian convoys have not evolved since the first one and are kind of sticking around mostly on Facebook. Which is rather funny. Um, and it also makes it hard for me to find live streams there. While simultaneously makes it harder for anyone wanting to find out, even in support, to find these live streams. Um, which is also just kind of dooms the movements a little bit. Because the only people that are going to find it on Facebook are people who found the last convoys on Facebooks. Because they're already following the same people that always show up. Nobody new, really, is uh, getting indoctrinated through Facebook to this. 